All right. This just in just moments ago, Tulsa police arrest the final two suspects in a home invasion robbery from last weekend. Now all four men are in jail. The man who lived in the house fought back and won, but it's a decision he's been reliving and rethinking every moment since. News on 6 crime reporter Lori Fulbright has the new details. Lori. Well, Jennifer, this happened at 6.30 Saturday morning, and Larry says his decision to fight back was made in a split second. He says you never know what you're going to do until that moment happens. And that time, he just acted on pure instinct. Come out through here. As I came out through here, I was confronted with two assailants. One was here, one was here. Okay. And both? Both had guns to my head. When the noise first woke Larry up, he thought his cat had knocked something over. He didn't realize two men had kicked in his door. They wanted money, but he only had $57 and didn't think that'd be enough. So he lunged at the man in front of him and grabbed the gun. We come crashing out the door, and I do not remember hitting the pavement. But somehow you end up down here. And somehow we end up out here on the grass. Okay. The whole time he's wrestling one man with the gun, the other is beating Larry on the head with that gun. Larry's got dozens of stitches and staples in his head, front, back, and over his ear. Larry finally got his hand on the trigger and pulled it. The gun went off, and the man who had been hitting him took off running. Now Larry had the other guy on the ground and in a headlock, and he now had control of the gun. And I stuck it to his head. I said, if you move, you're going to die. Just when he thought it was over, two more men pulled up in a car and they jumped out with a gun running toward Larry. He fired off a few shots and managed to still keep the one in a headlock. Those two in the car took off. And neighbors who had heard the shots called 911, so officers soon arrived. When the officer walked up my driveway, I was never so happy to see a guy in my life. Larry had shot the man he was wrestling with in the hand. Police say that's Bobby Lewis. They later arrested Vincent Lieb and Thursday night arrested the other two, a father and son, Brian Breckenridge and Jordan Smith. Larry says he's just thankful it worked out the way it did. When it's all said and done, he went, you know, he went to jail, his two buddies went to jail, and I came back home. Larry says he didn't know any of the men, but contractors had been remodeling his house, so he wonders if that's the connection. What Larry hates most about all of this is how it's changed him. He's nervous now, he thinks about the fight day and night, he worries about security, and he's no longer as welcoming or trusting. He realizes that may change with time, but for now, he's just going to enjoy being alive. Lori Fulbright, The News on 